Hey y'all, welcome to another Doubt Gone video. For real, thank y'all for coming in. Hang with us today. Y'all see that right there in the back? Oop. See, I just took some clothes out of the washer and um, not the washer, the dryer, the dryer, not the washer. And I didn't even want to have to <clears throat> deal with trying to put them up somewhere, so I just set them right there where Connor is. You see, right there, so I can go ahead and fold them. So I'm trying to whisper because Carter is on a Zoom meeting with his class right now. So I hope I'm not interrupting him. And I have one later with my class today. And Connor has one today. So we are all Zoomed out over here. So I brought y'all with me because I have a package at the door and I don't know what it is. Cause I just don't know. So let's see what we got. Let's see. Okay, somebody said some pro, pro not pro, pro flowers. Oop, wait a minute. Do y'all think I'm being too extra? Mm. I didn't care if you did anyway. Okay, let's see who these are from. This is so sweet. It says, Deandra and family, I'm so sorry for the losses you have endured over the past two weeks. I hope you are able to find peace and solace even with everything that is going on in the world. I'll be praying for your family. This is so sweet. This is from um, the lady, the other teacher in the classroom. She sent this because if y'all hear it talking in the background, my um, Connor is now on his Zoom call. But um, I, due to what's going on today, I lost my grandmother and a cousin in within like a week. It was in a week, I think exactly, of each other. So she, um, she sent me this that was so sweet. I put them in some water and let her know that I got them that was so thoughtful. I hope I can keep them alive, y'all. But it'll add some, oh. I have the little nets around the, see the pink flower, I don't even know what these are called. Is this a rose? I don't know, the stems are thicker than any of the other flowers. No, I don't think it's a rose, but I don't know flowers, so. Don't judge me. Oh, it may be a rose. I have some pink roses here, but I don't have any flower food. So for now, we're just gonna have to do water. And that's better than them just sitting here in air, right? That was really nice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna sit this somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I'll find a place for it. Thank you. It was so thoughtful. Complete the input-output tables. Type in the missing numbers and rules for each input-output table. Uh, okay. So in, out, 3, 10, 5, 12. I, I you, oh, you already did this. I did. That's right there. So what you need help with the ones that are blank? Oh, so rule two. So what does that mean, rule two? Where are your rules well, at? Um, oh, that means like, um, Cause I don't like know what what's happening. Skip, what does skip count by? Like, see? Oh, four. three, five, oh, you just go down. Three, five, seven, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, so what are you having trouble with? This one? Okay. This one says, Four, six, eight, ten. So how many are you at? 32, 48, 
$64.79. So, let's see, 10, eight, 6. So, right here, you're adding 16. Right here, you're adding 2. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Five, six, okay, so you said five right here. Five, six, seven, eight. 25, 30, 35, 40. So how do you, I know this is five, but what about this over here? You just adding one here and you're adding five here. So how do you do rule five? Because it start off with five and count them by five. Hmm. I don't know. I'm stuck, stuck like Chuck. Maybe, oh, what number did you put in? What numbers were blank? Maybe you put the wrong um, numbers in. 79. And let me see. I think this So delete it back to Howard. Can you clear the table so I can see? I think it's like completely gone. Those were the only two that were blank? Mm -hmm. Just those two. Are you sure? These are the only two that were blank. Mm -hmm. you, you can't erase anymore. Yeah, these are the only two. I don't believe that, Carter. Yes, these are the only two. Those are darker. Look at this number. That's the way I Yeah. <coughs> Me and Carter both about to flunk third grade. Just don't do it. Just don't do we it. About, we both about to flunk third grade. Just don't do it and then it's going to go away tomorrow. And I'm a teacher. What's going to go away tomorrow? This is just don't do it. No, if you don't do it, you can get an F. You better care. Let me try to figure this out. So y'all, I'm not all the way crazy. I think I figured it out. He he had me messed up. So <coughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so you do. He, I was just going down. Uh oh. Yeah, my hair look like an old lady. <coughs> Let me tell y'all something. When the stuff open back up, I'm gonna run in the nail shop. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> you know your nails look worse when you first take the stuff off. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> The three, five, I was just going down counting because that's what somebody showed me. I'm not gonna call any names, Carter. You but <laughs> three and 10, so, and then five and 12. So for these, you're adding seven to each number. And then five, 25, 6, 30, 7, 35, 8, 40. You're multiplying by five. So now we have four, 32. So be thinking about where it ruled that is 648. What are you doing with eight? It's eight. But what about eight? Are you? You multiply. Multiply. So what times eight would give you 64? Um, yeah, I think it was. Let me think. I think it's six. No, no, not six. I mean, eight, seven. No, you said it. It's eight. Eight oh, times eight oh. is 64. Oh. So what would you put there? Eight. Okay, so put the eight. Okay, so I don't know what you did with this 10 and nine. That 10, I didn't make that, that was there. So the 10 was already there? Yeah. So what should that be over there? Over here? Yeah. Um, if you're multiplying by eight. eight. Say it. 80. 80. Good. Oh my god. What? It disappeared. So delete it out and put 80 in there. Okay. So what's the rule? Um, what are we doing to each number? Eight. What are we doing with the 8? We multiply. Multiply by 8. So you'll do times 8. That's what you'll put in there. Okay. 
So yeah, we're gonna be all right. We're not gonna flunk third grade after all. So y'all, we're gonna be okay. We're not gonna flunk third grade together, right? Right? So you already started. You're finding the missing add-ins up to 20. Wait, it says um, color by the code. So find the missing number for each problem. If the number in the box is less than 10, color it green. If the number in the box is more than 10, you're gonna color it yellow. Come on, sit up. How many missing numbers? So when you're done, you're gonna say how many missing numbers were less than 10? How many missing numbers were more than 10? So I guess if it's 10 or less, so we'll count that for, I don't know. See, y'all got me looking crazy. So you are to start that 13, nine plus what equals 18? Not right, good job. And you did it fast. What plus 12 equals 16? Good, just count up. So you're gonna continue to do this for the whole sheet and then we'll color what we need to color when you're done, okay? Mm -hmm. Good job. Connor, that is good. That's awesome. Y'all probably don't see what he just did. And he probably don't even recognize it. But let me tell y'all. Hold on. Proud parent moment. So, I teach second grade. And we try to teach them to, like they have, a, some of them have a hard time. Like it says, right here. You might can't see it. 5 plus blank equals 13. So in his little head, he did, he went ahead and did, he counted down 13, take away 5, because it was easier to do it that way and see what you come up with versus 5 and count up to 13. But he did that on his own, so that was pretty good. I haven't even taught him that yet. I don't think they learned that in first grade yet. I don't know. But I thought that was good. Pretty smart. Smarter than I thought. Proud mom. Huh? You said I thought he was a dummy. No, I didn't think he was. <laughs> I know he's not a dummy. None of my kids are. Nobody is a. Well, I'm going to say that, but. None of my kids are. Huh? None of my kids are. Yep. So keep going, Connor. You're doing a good job.